I'm an ex-Visa officer, and let's talk about 221G. The biggest misconception and misunderstanding that I find among Visa applicants about 221G is that 221G is universally the same thing, or that administrative processing, AP, is all the same thing. People say, I'm in 221G, how long is it going to take? I'm in administrative processing, how long is that going to take? Well, 221G and administrative processing are the same thing. There's no difference. There's no, oh, this is 221G and this is administrative processing. It's all the same thing. 221G means no decision has been made. No final decision has been made on your case. It's You've not been refused as an end result. You've not been issued as an end result. Your case is still open. Now, the confusing thing is that the visa officers are going to give you a piece of paper that says you have been refused under 221G. This is the way that it's described in the regulations. However, that language is just infinitely confusing to visa applicants. I wish that they would change this language because it's a refusal code, but it doesn't mean that you're refused, you know, and that's the end of that's the end of the story. You've still got a path forward. So, you get the sheet, it says 221G, administrative processing, you've been refused under this code. Okay, what that means is your case just has not had a decision made. What options do you have there? Well, a decision hasn't been made, so there are some options. And when a decision hasn't been made yet, you, see, you need to consider whether or not you can still influence the visa officer's thinking, right? Now, this is where our expertise as former visa officers comes into play because there are many reasons why someone might be in 221G. Let's talk about the most common reason, which is going to be the visa officer just couldn't make a decision yet. They got some information from you, they thought it might have been confusing, they might need to do some research, uh, they might need to read up on the regulations, and they just couldn't make a decision. They need to move quickly, they can't do all of that while they're talking to you at the window. They've got other people waiting behind you that they need to interview, so they say, 221G, administrative processing, I'm not making a decision right now, I'm going to make the decision later, right? So from talking to you, finding out what happened in the interview, what your situation is, what your circumstances are, what your purpose of travel is, we can almost every single time reliably know exactly what it was that caused the visa officer to pause and want to get some more information, want to review the case more, do some research. And in many cases, you can then present more information to the visa officer because in the 221G sheet, many times there's a way to contact them with more information that they've requested and you can provide that information that they are having doubts about. Other times, the visa officer asks for something very specific, right? I need your marriage certificate, right? I need your transcripts. I want this invitation letter, okay? If this happens to you, don't think that all you can do is just send in this one thing Send it in and that's it and just wait, okay? What you have is still an opportunity in the same way that you have in the visa interview when they ask you a question, you can respond with the answer to that question and any other facts, opinions, ideas, stories that you want to give them, right? Now, they might not want to hear it, but if you put it in front of them, they don't ignore that they've received this information. So if they ask for one piece of information, but then from talking to you as my client, I find actually, you know what, they asked for this piece of information because they have these doubts. I know because I've talked to you for much longer, I've talked to you for an hour, I know that actually there's a lot of other information that satisfies the doubt that the visa officer had. So what I'm going to tell you to do is, yes, send them in that one specific document that they asked for, but let's continue and keep keep resolving all the other doubts that the visa officer has, right? So we want to send them in this other document as well, maybe even a short personal statement that explains the situation so it's not just a document without context, right? There's many, many cases like this where you do have a chance to change the outcome to influence it because that 221G, a decision hasn't been made yet. They could decide to issue, they could decide to refuse. It's up to you to still convince them with the documents, with the letters, with whatever you're submitting to them that you should get your visa issued, okay? So knowing what type of 221G you're in is important. We can do that for you. Click the link in the caption, go to our website, find out more about us, the services we offer, 30, 45, and 60 minute consultations with real ex-visa officers that speak your language, that worked in your country doing visa interviews. Uh, for many years, we've done over a million visa interviews total. Go book a consultation with one of us, 
Don't let the chance to get your visa issued pass you by. Thank you.